This trio is, is the other part is killing me because I have to sync the left hand and the right hand and the trio. Right, right, right. Okay, what you want to do is, um, by the way, you want you need a crescendo through what? You need a crescendo through nothing. Look, I'm blocking. Block it. Do some blocking for your trill. Just block it so you go. Right. Anyway, can you do the crescendo here? What happens here? Suddenly? Soft. It goes down. It goes yeah, soft. Will, yeah, and the trill, do it, do it slowly. You know, sometimes to make a trill better, you have to do a measured slow trill until you're ready to double a measured slow trill to twice as fast. So you could go like this. Then I did three different things. First, I did it three times as slow. Then I did it. What fingers are you using? Four two. I use four two, just like it says. I trill four two four two four two. Yeah, four two four two. And then I resolve with one three two. Four two four two. You have the upper neck. You're doing upper neighbor trill, right? You're doing upper neighbor trill. Trill on B. The first note of the trill is B, not A sharp. I'm it's sorry. A, it, the first note of the trill is the upper neighbor B. It's not A sharp. Make this the sixteenth. Little two, little little three, little little four, little little one, little little two, little little three. Slow. You got to slow it down. Then I'll let you double it. Okay. I was thinking something. <laughs> right, right. Go slow. You almost got it, Jago. You almost got it. You almost got it. Seriously, pay attention to your left hand as the conductor. Let the left hand conduct you. Seriously. Almost got it. You know what? You know what? No, no. I'll tell you what. Ha I'll tell you what happened. It was ninety-nine percent there, but the resolution of the trill didn't come on the C sharp in the left hand. Okay, where are you going to re resolve your trill? You need to know where it's going to end. It's going to end with the two little notes there, starting on the last sixteenth note. Let's see if I'm right. Now watch what I do. to end it in the right hand. There, Draw a line. They are all seen for a very little time. <laughs> you know what you need to do, Chago? Draw a vertical line this way, up and down. The G sharp, draw it an arrow to the C sharp in the left hand. That's where you end it. Okay. And then you'll have it. You'll know that's where you need to end it. With the two little, the pair of notes start on the C sharp. That's why I just did it now. I just did it right in one spot. I went, see? Right? I know that's how I'm going to end it. Can't go any farther or you're going to be spilling into another beat. Sure, sure, just... sure. Now, if you yeah. do it slow and just go to the, what, to the trill note, you can go. Watch. Look how relaxed that was. No big deal. So deedle, leedle, 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 la, la, la. Hear the trill like a melody note, like a melody. Deedle, leedle. Hear the trill as if it's a melody. It is a melody, isn't it? Deedle, leedle, 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 leedle. Got it. Got it. You got it. Now don't forget what you just did. Don't, now try not to, Now here's the thing in the practicing. I'm really serious about this. If you keep changing your quarter note, every other measure, now I'll do this faster, now I'll do this slower, then you don't, 
stabilize the practicing. The practicing has to be like a little bit of a layer, even if it's over 20 minutes. You have to go, I'm going to do it slow first. Let's say you're doing a dee 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 dee